Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I do want to talk about bone cancer in the dog. It's not a super happy topic, but it's something we do need to talk about because it does happen. Bone cancer, or osteosarcoma, is something that I routinely see in the veterinary office. When a person comes in with their doggy and they're worried about bone cancer, they will see a couple things at home. They will definitely see some lameness. Maybe the doggy's not putting as much weight on the leg. The leg may also be swollen. It's usually quite painful and warm, and it's usually in one location. So guys, with bone cancer, we usually say in the veterinary world, away from the elbow, so at the wrist or the shoulder, that's where we see bone cancer, or towards the knee, so it comes towards the knee in the back. So bone cancer in doggies, when we're looking the doggy over, or when you're looking your doggy over, if we have problems in the wrist, the shoulder, or the knee, and we have an older, bigger dog, we start to worry more about bone cancer or the osteosarcoma. When a veterinarian sees your doggy, they will of course do routine lab work. The most important thing they're gonna do is an x-ray. They're gonna x-ray your doggy's leg. Also, they're gonna x-ray your doggy's chest. Unfortunately, bone cancer is really, really, really serious. And it will spread from the bones to the chest at some point. With that being said, the x-ray is a great tool to help make us really, really darn confident that it could be bone cancer. If it is bone cancer, the only way to really diagnose it is to take a sample of it, a biopsy. Either do it with the leg still attached to the dog or after the leg's been amputated. That's what I'm getting towards next, about removing the leg if it's bone cancer. Anyway, you must submit a sample of it to diagnose it. And our next step can be to remove the leg through surgery with amputation. We do this not to cure. Again, we do this not to cure everybody. We do this to provide less pain, provide palliative care so the doggy can be more comfortable. That is our goal, to be more comfortable. The x-ray showed nothing on the chest. However, as I just said, it always spreads to the chest. If the x-ray is clean, that gives the veterinarian permission to buy us time. If the x-ray looks really bad, there's really cancer in the chest, there's no, it's inappropriate to put the doggy through a painful recovery. I mean, we'll have meds, we'll be comfortable, but you know, getting a, a, a limb amputated is, is uncomfortable. So there's no reason to put a doggy through that if we're gonna pass away from metastatic involvement in the chest relatively soon. That's why we take actually the chest, to figure out if a leg amputation is worth it and if it's gonna buy us enough time uh, in the grand scheme of things. You can always go see an oncologist. There are veterinary oncologists. They will give you expectations. They will go over some different meds that can help. Remember, in the veterinary world, guys, an oncologist, they can cure stuff. But in most cases, especially with osteosarcoma, the goal is to provide the best treatment plan, the best palliative, like comfortable care, and to provide the longest life, happy, healthy life as possible. With bone cancer, we're not curing. We're providing uh, a better life and maybe a little bit longer life. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I know this is a tough topic. Thank you for watching and um, it, it, please share any experiences you have or comments. And uh, I hope this was crazy helpful. You guys take care. As always, I'm Dan, a veterinarian. See you guys later.